WHO and the global malaria community are working towards the goal of a malaria-free world. In 2022, 118 countries were already malaria-free and a number of other countries were close to achieving this goal. In June 2022, WHO issued new recommendations for countries in the final phase of malaria elimination. Some of these recommendations are also important for post-elimination countries working to prevent malaria from recurring. In addition to mass strategies applied to entire populations and targeted strategies for high-risk groups, the new WHO recommendations include three reactive strategies to be triggered in response to confirmed malaria cases. WHO has issued conditional recommendations for these reactive strategies, which means that although there is supporting evidence, more data is still required. If more robust evidence is collected, they may be updated and reclassified as strong recommendations. When a malaria case is detected, national malaria programs can choose the most appropriate reactive strategy to prevent the disease from spreading. 1. Reactive drug administration involves giving anti-malarial medicine to everyone living with or near a confirmed malaria case or to everyone who might have been exposed at the same place and time. The aim of this strategy is to treat existing infections and prevent new ones over time. Two. Reactive case detection and treatment to reduce malaria transmission involves testing everyone living with or near someone with confirmed malaria or everyone who might have been exposed at the same place and time. A full course of anti-malarial medicine is then given only to those who test positive. 3. Reactive indoor residual spraying to reduce malaria transmission involves the spraying of insecticide within the home of a person with malaria and in the neighboring houses at approximately the same time. This strategy reduces malaria transmission by killing mosquitoes that land on the sprayed surfaces. Each of these strategies has its own benefits and challenges. As always, the right approach is the one that best fits the situation and local context. As we work towards eliminating malaria, and preventing recurrence, we must develop comprehensive programs to identify and react to new cases. You can find out more about these reactive strategies and all the recommendations in the WHO guidelines and the framework for malaria elimination. Let's work towards a malaria-free future for all.